Hi everyone, I'm Goose Masala and welcome back to a sort of half proper video, half update video and let's go into the update stuff first. So before the video starts, um, on my predictions video uh, it did very well and I actually had the best channel, best day in the channel's history in terms of subscribers. I got four subscribers in just one day which is very good. So my sort of question is, is like what do you, the new people and also the people who've been here for a while, what what sort of stuff do you want on the channel? Of course I like to be a suggestion based channel so would you like more predictions because the predictions seem to do quite well, people seem to like that. Uh, would you like more Premier League sort of videos um, in general because it might be the Premier League stuff that you enjoy. Uh, this video today is going to sort of give you an idea, even if it's not a topic, even if it's on topic in terms of football that you don't care about at all, do you want styles, uh, s videos of that style but it's on stuff you care about? And uh, for existing subscribers, would you want more explainer videos or more Road to Kaido? Um, and comment your opinion or, uh, or vote in the poll. Of course, I'm a very subscriber based channel. And basically, what I do on the channel is I kind of alternate between my FIFA series, Road to Akado, and doing some sort of explaining videos. So, 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 sort of who are certain players. The predictions, to be honest, was sort of like a, a side thing that I did for fun um, in order to get a few other YouTubers involved. And so, uh, this video is about the J-League, and uh, the J-League season is almost over in Japan, and Kashiwa Reysol were relegated, of course, <laughs> of course, teams are relegated all around the world every season. So what's unusual about this? Well, they had three very good quality players that I knew about quite a lot. So this video is sort of a prediction of what will happen to them, where will they go? They might come to your club, you never know. So it's always good to know about these three players. They should be on the cheap, and they are very much quality players, all of whom could play in Europe at some point in their career. Career. One of them's quite young at the moment. So yeah, those three players are Cristiano, Junieto, and uh, Kosuke Nakamura. And uh, yeah, so you could be seeing them at your club at some point in the future. So here's where I think they will go. And so Cristiano. So a bit of explaining on who Cristiano is. He's a pacey Brazilian striker who was well known in FIFA of all things. Uh, last year he was 100k in price uh, in terms of the coins on FIFA, and this year he's only 60k, mm, lacking unfortunately. <laughs> Not really. That is a lot of coins in terms of FIFA standards. And he was Kashiwa Reysol's best striker, not the top scorer, but the best striker. He had seven goals and seven assists. So where will he go next season? Well, my third. So basically, I'm get, yeah. As I said, I'm giving three predictions for each player and where they will go. So um, and I'll sort of give the league that they'll go to an example of the team that could buy him. However, I have no idea of the actual transfer rumors and uh, yeah stuff like that. So this is all just speculation of where they could potentially could go. And uh, I hope to get one of my predictions right anyway. Uh, so. Uh, I believe first of all Cristiano as the third choice option that I've chosen here is that he could go to the Chinese league for example the club that he would fit in well with would be Shanghai SIPG. Many Brazilians move to the Chinese league and I think Cristiano would do well here. Uh, would do well there, sorry. Um, he's experienced in many different leagues so that would help in the Chinese league and usually good players tend to not do well in the Chinese league whereas the random ones who've been around a bit do actually do well so I think he would do well there. However, I believe that this, he, something more likely than that is that he will stay at Kishiwa Reysol in the J2 league. And Chris, because Cristiano has never been that amazing throughout his whole, whole career, he's done alright in the J league, but he's not been like a, a incredible or anything like that. So I, I think that it's quite likely that he stays in the J2 league with Kishiwa Reysol. And uh, finally, uh, the thing that I think is most likely to happen, actually, is uh, I think he'll go to the Brazilian league. Um, for example, the club that I've said he could go to is Fluminense. I believe they would do quite well to have him. And uh, Cristiano has never actually played in the top tier of Brazilian football. He played quite a lot in the lower tiers when, uh, when he was younger. And then he moved to Austria. And uh, this could be his chance to shine in his home country. I think he will probably do that, to be honest. I think he'll go back to Brazil. So next up, we've got Junior Ito. Uh, he's a great winger who scored 6 goals and got 11 assists. We're talking about a relegated team here, so he did really well in that situation. And for me, he is the best player out of the three listed here. He also plays for the uh, Japan national team quite regularly as well. He comes off the bench, so that's quite impressive. And the third 
most likely destination for Ito would be the Liga MX and uh, the example here is Club Leon and this is probably the only uh, prediction in the list that I actually have some backing for and it might sound strange him go to Liga MX but he was linked to Club Leon last year um, so could this be the year that he actually moves to Club Leon you know his club's been relegated he's probably going to be a lot cheaper um, is he going to move there second prediction is going to be that he moves to the Jupiler Pro League that is the league in Belgium and the example is here is Sant Truidense a club that a lot of Japanese players go to and as I've said many Japanese players have moved to the Belgian league and Ito would de could definitely join them I think he would do quite well there however my main prediction is going to be that he's going to move to the to Bundesliga, the, sorry, the Zavai Bundesliga, and the example here could be that he could go to FC Köln. However, I, yeah, I think he will go to Germany in some form, and FC Köln would be a great fit. He would probably start there, and he would get promoted next season. You know, moving to the Bundesliga with a promoted club is always even easier to break through than. Um, uh, going straight to the Bundesliga and sitting on the bench so I think that would be a good idea for him to go there I think that will probably be where he goes and finally we have Kasuke Nakamura uh, not to be confused with various other Nakamuras um, and Nakamura was in Japan's World Cup squad and is a good young goalkeeper he's only 23 so he's got a lot of time ahead of him and to sit in the J2 league would probably be not a good idea for him so the third choice option I've gone for Nakamura is that he goes to the Eredivisie and a good example would be Excelsior who have had goalkeeper problems recently and the Eredivisie is the breakout league for may many players however would Nakamura be good enough to go there yet? I'm not quite sure however he'd definitely start at Excelsior I believe so he could definitely move but would he be good enough to keep up with the standard and would he progress there that's the only thing my second predi prediction, this one's a bit out there, is that he could go to the High and Die A-League and a good example would be Melbourne City, another team who've had problems with goalkeepers this season. Uh, Nakamura could impress in the A-League, he's definitely good enough quality to go there and um, he would become a star player in the A-League if he was to go there. And my final prediction for Kazuki Nakamura would be is that, and I believe the one that is going to happen, is he's going to move to the J-League. But my example here is Sanfreke Hirosh. Hiro Hiroshima yeah um, and Nakamura will likely move to the better team to a better team in the J-League and uh, I don't think he's good enough to leave the J-League yet I think he will do in the future but not yet I think he'll just move back to the J-League but he's definitely too good for the J2 League he's actually been injured for a lot of this season I believe um, which is why he hasn't help, been able to help his team from relegation but um, I think he'll move uh, to a better club. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is sort of update, sort of mix with analysis video. It's very strange, sort of just making a video because I felt like it, to be honest, but definitely better content will be coming soon with predictions and other stuff and just guides to stuff, whatever you suggest. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.